I wanted to play football again, and I was not going to take no for an answer. If you didn't know his story, you'd say, what's the big deal about number 14? Casey O'Brien is a redshirt sophomore placeholder for the Gopher football team. Why is he so beloved, even though he's never played a snap in a game? Everybody loves Casey, so we've adopted it as, as our story as well, and I think that's helped him go along the way. Casey's story started almost six years ago when the high school freshman quarterback was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a rare and very aggressive bone cancer. He was told he would never play sports again, especially football, after the cancer forced him to have his left knee replaced. Over the years, osteosarcoma has come back three more times. And every time, Casey, even as a gopher player, has battled and won. Going through cancer four times, it'll, it'll make you realize what's important in your life. Just down the street from gopher football, well, I've been working on osteosarcoma for over 12 years. Is Dr. Um, Brandon Moriarty's osteosarcoma lab, funded in part the past five years by Tackle Cancer. We've come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. This painstaking work using genome engineering is on the cutting edge of possibly curing one of the toughest cancers known to man, and doing it by reprogramming our own cells to fight the cancer. In five to 10 years, it may be Casey's best bet to win again. Yeah, I tell everyone, I think, you know, the future of cancer treatment is cell-based therapy, and we will eventually be able to kill all, cure all cancers using this approach. Dr. Moriarty and Casey O'Brien have met kind of and share the same vision to cure this disease uh, so no one has to go through what Casey has. But for now, uh, I know that's part of my story and I know that my story can impact a lot of people and inspire a lot of people, so I've gotten to the point where uh, I can really own it. Please welcome our student speaker, Casey O'Brien. Casey? Which is why this summer, in front of 2,000 people, Casey eloquently told his story during Big Ten Media uh, Day in Chicago. Because I now know that tomorrow is not promised. All the tests, scans, blood work, loss of hair, chemotherapy, and everything else that comes along with fighting cancer has all been worth it. In Storm Lake, Iowa, nine-year-old Emmett Lair, a cancer survivor himself, the was watching Casey on TV. Sister. Emmett was so moved, he wrote Casey a letter. Dear Casey, I saw your speech at the, on the Big Ten Network. I was watching with my dad. It was really good. I cried as I watched it because I had cancer too. I love the Hawkeyes and go to some of their games. If my mom and dad take me when they play Minnesota this year, I will cheer for you. Good luck this season, I wish you the best. Emmett, that's what I do it for right there. That's what I do it for. That's what we all do it for when you're on the other side of cancer. There are plans in the work for a possible meeting between Casey and Emmett before Iowa and the Gophers meet on November 16th in Iowa City. And what a special moment that would be for both. Hmm. Wow, he's so young to have been through that so many times, times already. Times. Yeah. Four times. Four times. Yeah. It's such an intense cancer. Time. It is. It's yeah. very, very serious. Yeah. But I think that his perseverance, his attitude, mm -hmm. Um, just the way he carries himself. He's yeah. become such an advocate for cancer patients across the Twin yeah. Cities. He really has done a great job. Yep. And getting awesome. out there and speaking yep. as a young that's man, right. that's, that's yep. really a, a means key a lot. component. That's exactly right.